So the um, the company was in a pretty tough spot um, in in doing a lot of subcontracting work for other big gaming companies, and uh, we wanted to do something different and and do something of our own. So we we looked at all the different um, ideas that are you know guys were drawing on the characters level so we we drew a lot of characters and one day one of the designer just drew this bird without legs and without wings and we're like well what what is that this is this is interesting why why doesn't he have any wings why doesn't he have any legs he can't walk he can't fly what can he do and that's that's how the whole thing started we, we are looking at different games and, and we're definitely uh, doing a lot of research and development on, on opportunities in terms of game development. But right now the interesting thing is we're moving from a gaming only company into an entertainment company. So it's, it's not only about the games, it's about everything that is around the games um, in order to create the dream and to create the excitement of the fans. And we still have a lot of things to learn in, in building the proper tools, the proper processes and everything to be able to take another game through the same success as Angry Birds. It, it's really exciting. There are really a lot of really interesting people, um, a lot of really crazy things. I've seen um, a computer in a motorbike. Um, I've seen a replicate of the Empire State Building with four computers. My advice would be do something fun, something that you really like, and think about the people that you can connect with. Start small with a, with a small idea, or maybe a big idea, but with a small first step, and engage with people around it. And if people like it, then keep on building on top of that. Hi Campus Party, this is Julian from Rovio, the makers of Angry Birds.